Good morning, guys. Once again, I'm on the channel, so that means I'm up to something. Probably related to something furry. Kids are eating breakfast, and we're about to go on a road trip. <laughs> so, so me and Reagan had decided no more goats. Um, you know, we mentioned on the last video that I was really liking the Nubians and the ease of the milk and the milk production. And we were thinking, I was, he doesn't really have much of a say, about changing my herd to mostly primary Nubians. I know who I want to eliminate. I guess eliminate isn't the right word. Who I want to move out to move some new goats in. So Heather at Sage and Stone Homestead is 100% my biggest enabler in more than one way. I text her kind of brainstorming and just wanting to talk to someone about change how I wanted to change my herd and how I planned on doing it. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. And like trying to, you know, supported me and enabled me in this. Um, and we decided no more goats. And then I got this text. So we're getting a new goat. And Heather 100% set it up. So we're about to go pick up a little Nubian bottle baby. I have a name picked out, I think. So we'll see when I get her if that's what I want. But we've got to go load the kids and take an hour trip down the road to get my new Nubian. I've lost my mind. We got a baby. We got the baby. So we just left the house. Um, and Deacon is fussy and hungry, so he's got to have a happy meal. Although I'm happy. You hear Riley back there? Um, I had to stop and rearrange her basket. So everyone cross your fingers that she makes it home in the laundry basket and I don't end up having to hold her the whole ride like you would a small dog. But she's so thinking cute. home we've been home for a couple hours and we're waiting for Reagan to get home so he can see her in person so for us here on the farm our main purpose for our goats is to produce milk have babies they have babies so they can produce milk for us so something like the multiple teats on this baby where she's otherwise healthy isn't something that phases us because we just want a good healthy goat for milk now if we I like my goats registered I prefer them registered she can still be registered she just won't ever be a top quality show goat I'd never show her I don't want to show I like them papered so I can track their lineage and I'm making sure I do have healthy goats she has good lines other than the fact of the two the father the buck and the dame together just didn't blend well and that's what caused this. As far as being a good mother, a good milk producer, like she has all those genes and that's what we really want. The papers are just so we make sure we're getting good lines. Honey, <laughs> what have you done? Brought more love into our Is that farm. right? Well, I I was kind of thinking we didn't really need any more ghosts, and she decided, or I guess she thought that we did, so we discussed it, and we compromised, and we got another goat. <laughs> happy wife, happy life. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> so there is a reason why we got this goat, and I guess, did you explain that at all? I explained why it wasn't a big deal to us in an earlier clip. I don't know how you'll edit this together. So we were gifted this goat because she does have the extra teats. Um, the lady we got her from shows and does didn't want to hold on to a goat that wasn't showable as far as that goes. 
other than the extra teeth, she would be a perfect show goat as long as she continued continued to grow like she did. So yeah, we were gifted her. <laughs> we were gifted her because of those two extra teats. Now, on our farm, the purpose of our goats is to produce milk so we can eat, drink it, and make stuff with it. So the extra teats to us isn't a big deal. I'm not selling to people that show most of the time when I sell babies. So it's not a huge deal for us. She will still be registered so we can track lineage, but that's, you know, she's not ever going to need that paper as far as to be able to show or be a production show, which means you're milking and measuring your milk and sending those numbers in. She'll simply make a good homestead goat. And some of her babies will probably have the extra teeth. And when we sell those, we'll just tell the people, hey, look, they've got extra teats. They're a good pet. They're a good homestead milk goat. You just can't show. Boop. Someone refuses to do anything if we're not holding him. He's not he been in a good mood today. Yeah, he does like the goat though. And in case you haven't figured it out, uh, yeah, the title was totally clickbait. Obviously, we're still friends with Heather. I'm still friends with Heather in the stones. So uh, yeah, we're just we got another goat, and of course we got another goat. <laughs> Why wouldn't we get another goat? I have to collect one in every color. Tell me, I'm other goat people. You've got to collect one in every color. Is that right? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's a good blooper. <laughs> Thank you all for coming along on this quick little adventure with us today. We got more milk in the pail, or I guess we will have more milk in the pail. Yeah. How exciting. My name's Reagan. I'm Megan. And this is Elsa Dutton <laughs> with the GWP Homestead. We'll see y'all soon. Bye, guys. Bye.